I don't know who you think you are, but I know what you want. If you're looking for amazing flips, I can't help you. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you give up this challenge now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. And I will find you. And I will kill this competition. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Oh, it's on, bitch. Hello. Today is May 1st. We're out on a hunt to try to beat Pac-Man Case. So for our first pickup, we're heading out to Rishabucto Village, which is about an hour outside of Moncton. The only problem with this is this is where Google Map goes to die. With any luck, we'll be able to find our way back. So I think we're lost. <laughs> I think we are lost. We're in the middle of nowhere. We went to pick up games. Uh, I'll show you guys oh, no. the games yeah. in a second. I'm but thinking we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good, but, but no. Scott's been driving for like five minutes and I don't r recognize anything. I'm going to turn the camera around for you guys and let you see what we're seeing because this is what it is. Like, there's trees. Where are we? Where are all the buildings? <laughs> we're lost. You're, you're navigation. I'm just driving. You're navigating. You tell me which way to turn. You said that way. <laughs> You didn't know? You didn't know when I said that way that I meant that way? Yeah. You suck at this. So here's the games we picked up. We got uh, American Idol, Encore, Karaoke, Revolution. It's got the microphone and everything, so that's cool. Also, the view is amazing still. And our Siri keeps telling me to turn left. Yeah, Siri wants us to turn left in five kilometers, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure my phone's <laughs> trying to kill us. <laughs> We're not turning left. <laughs> We're not turning left. Okay, we have Wii Sports Resort, if anybody knows this, or has even watched Gaming Off the Grid. They picked this up like I think it's that one, right? five times a day. I think we think it's that one. So we picked that one up too. We also have Fairy Tale Fights. I mean, none of these games go for a whole, whole lot, but we got them super, super cheap and less than $3 a game. So it was worth picking up because even if we can get five, six dollars back for these, then we've doubled their money. One of them for sure, we will be able to get lots back. We also have Need for Speed Shift, which is another oh, place. Shift. I don't oh, think I have that one. oh, Shift. We have NASCAR, the game Inside Line for 360. And we have Skylander Giants. That I'm kind of buying on a whim. I don't know. We will see. It's more than $3. It's more than $3. Then this was the real reason we we drove out here. Uh, this one not big, but it's Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. And anybody who was on Mr. Pac-Man Case's live stream on Friday night would have heard me mention this one, Core on the DS, and that one was the ticket because loose it sells for about 40 45 dollars canadian so that right there for less than three dollars a game was worth the trip we hope we hope <laughs> next up value village let's check out those games lots of ds games wait hold the phone is that pokemon diamond for 69.99 that's retail price Let's just say we didn't end up picking up any games today at Value Village. We brought our first lot to the parlor and got 70 back. So we went and picked up these games. Now, 
I am a little bit nervous because some of them are demo discs. I don't know if our local pawn shops take them. That's the risky part. But we got all of these games for $25, which felt like a pretty good deal. And something off here in the background. We're cleaning them all up, up before we take them too. Uh, I decided to pick this up. You guys probably be able to see that it still has the plastic on it. Anybody that knows anything about Nightmare might know that this is a game from the 80s. We played it once on our channel. That I'm cool for when it says receive. <laughs> He was asking 80 we actually got it for 40 and you pac-man you're damn lucky this i don't think this can be included but even if it can i can't i can't include it because i looked this up on ebay and i think the last one sealed like this sold for 175 dollars so 40 dollars to get 175 but i can't do it it's going to stay in my personal collection so that's it a great first day of game hunting. We got a lot of value. However, you know what? I think we'll hop the very small pond from Moncton to Riverview for one last important stop. After a long day of game hunting, we decided we deserved a beer or, or two or a flight. And this one right here is a Skittle Sour, and it legit tastes like Skittles. <laughs> it is Sunday, May 2nd, second day into the hunt, and it's uh, early morning here. I should be waking the family up to go game hunting soon to get ready. But we're not doing that today. <laughs> we're set two days in. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back fresh tomorrow. But just you wait to see what I have in store. Hey guys, you might remember me saying I have a particular set of skills. Well, we were very cautious when we did our video on our challenge to Pac-Man case when we said it has to be gaming related. The rules are you have an entire month and $20 to get as much value as you can. Meaning, you start with a $20 bill. Then you trade for something game related. Well, yeah, can I trade my 20 for this? Yeah, you probably can. I'm about to go into a store and get some stuff. There is a little bit of assembly required and I promise you it will be gaming related and this is my ace in the hole hopefully to win this competition so here we are at my secret location not so secret it's Michael's we are going to get a canvas so we're going to get a three pack of canvases uh they are $16.99 but we also need paints as you can see the paint supply is not too bad. It was really, really sparse uh, this time last year. Not too bad. We're gonna pick up uh, some small things of paint. We're also gonna pick up uh, bigger tubes or bottles of paint, I guess. Uh, the small ones are 119, the big ones are 229. Now here we go. Here's all my colors I need for my painting. Based on these, can you guys take a guess at what I might be painting. All right, I'm back. Uh, got everything for about $36, but that's three canvases. So because I'm only going to paint the one for now, um, we're gonna divide that by three and I'll give you the actual total. I probably could divide the paint by half because I won't use an entire jar of paint, but it is what it is. We're going to leave that the way it is. But the 
biggest challenge will be seeing if I can paint this painting in like three, four days. And I'd like to get some time lapse of me painting it too. So I, I need to get to work. Stay tuned.